serious, 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 serious issues. Hello and welcome, Snug the Great here and you are joining me in the early access of Bardo. This is a fast paced archery game where you play as a Tibetan monk fighting off waves of evil tin spirits. Additionally you can execute a force push get out of here maneuver which you're very much going to need. You start at wave 1 and make your way up to wave 20 where you get to fight a boss, I think. I played for several hours now and the game is hard enough to stop my progression at about wave 15. So let's get into it and see if we can get any further than that. And here we are, my home, or at least I think it's my home, uh, this seems to be a Tibetan monastery and I'm a Tibetan monk after all. So yeah, let's uh, defend this place from these evil spirits or demons or whatever they are. So this is a wave based archery game, um, that's pretty much all you need to know. <laughs> Uh, I played it for a couple hours, usually what I do is that I start fresh with you guys uh, But this game, it improves the more you play it because you get better at it and you actually feel like a kick-ass monk So I've, uh, I've decided to uh, start from the beginning, wave one and move my way up so you guys can see uh, what you can expect uh, or the level of skill you can expect to have after a couple of hours of play like I said, it's an archery game, you shoot uh, those orbs, mostly these guys, but sometimes they drop these orbs, uh, which you can use for extra points. I also thought you could use them for healing, but I don't understand the healing system entirely in this uh, in this game, so I don't think that's entirely true. Um, yeah, and that, that, that's basically all there is to it. When, uh, when these guys come in, you can slow time by drawing your arrow, so I'll give you a better demonstration of that in a bit. Um, which is pretty cool, you can use it to your advantage, especially with, uh, with the faster enemies. But uh, I'm pretty sure I'll be, able, I'll be showing you that soon. So yeah, as you can see, this guy uh, just comes in lazily and I can slow down time like this. As you can see, I can basically control time. Um, but you can't do that too long because then the effect ends. Uh, well, that's one of the, uh, I don't know, supernatural skills you have your, at your ability. And beyond that you have a secondary skill at your ability, which requires you to spend a coin, it's called. It's the little thingy you see here. And what it allows you to do, we'll probably demonstrate that in a minute when these guys come in closer a little bit. Yeah, is do a force push, um, which you can uh, use to get out of tricky situations. And then you have to wait until your coin replenishes and then you can uh, well, continue on, like I'm doing right now. It takes a while for the coin to replenish. Uh, well, so far we've seen one type of enemy, the slow guys. <laughs> um, they're quite nice, um, but uh, there's also other enemies like this guy, like this big guy over here. Um, and in total there are four, five, uh, five types of enemies. I've seen four. That's, uh, that's what I wanted to say. Um, these guys are tougher. Um, you don't want them very close because they keep hitting you until you die, and that's bad, obviously. <laughs> okay, there we go, come on. So, why did I pick up this game? This game uh, actually had mixed reviews on Steam, and I was wondering why. So I've been playing for a while, I've been patient with this game, but I've also been very frustrated with this game. This game is all about skill, and if you don't have that skill yet, then it can be really tricky. When enemies are at a distance, it's quite hard to hit them. And later on, it becomes very much essential to your playthrough. But like I said, you get better at, at it after a while. Uh, and if, you, if you're into that kind of thing, if you uh, want to have a difficult game in your list, um, then this is not a bad one, if I'm honest. Oh, oh that's, that's the menu. My bad. <laughs> Sorry about that. All right, let's just, uh, let's just continue. Yeah, come on. Yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, well, this is only the beginning, of course. Um, let's see, some more enemies will spawn in soon. So more big guys. This is kind of what I meant: is that now I have to hit them in a distance. <laughs> and as you can see, I'm not doing too well. Ah, yes. Woo! <laughs> Yeah, well, it really makes a difference. So yeah, that's that's uh, that's what may, can make this game quite frustrating. Um, even when you're already uh, a practiced player like me, 
Um, so that's that's something that you uh, you have to get used to. Yeah, come on. Uh, there we go. Come on, take some more arrows for me, will ya? Yeah, come on, there we go. And then you... Yeah, there we go. Uh, there is some strategy involved. Like these big guys, if you want to keep them at a distance, you should just hit them, because then their velocity goes down, so, they, you know, they just slow down for a minute. And that's how you can keep them at bay for a little bit longer. And when they're really close, it's really easy to shoot them anyway. But later on, you'll see, sometimes they throw so much at you, and then just... It requires a little bit before you uh, get skilled enough to, to deal with those uh, those harder waves. So what else can I uh, can I show you guys? Well, as you can see, it looks quite pretty. We have this uh, this nice temple business going on. We have the cherry blossoms being uh, thrown around. Yeah, those guys are not fun. Come on. There we go. Really quick, suicide drone kind of guys. Uh, really explosive as well. Uh, you don't want to. You don't want to miss those guys. Uh, when it's just one, it's fine. But if you have like five screaming at you, that's uh, quite terrifying. Let me tell you. Uh, I was talking about cherry blossoms. Yes. Why was I talking about cherry blossoms? I don't know. Um, <laughs> well, why spend more words in it? Well, because I thought I had more to say. Oh, yeah, that happens sometimes, I suppose. Uh, but no, I, uh, I don't think I have anything else to add there. So let's just continue. Uh, Putting a cat, i.e. arrow, in these bastards. There we go. Yeah, yeah. You also, maybe you also want an arrow. You can have an arrow, and you can have an arrow, and you can have an arrow. There we go. That was quick. <laughs> Woo! Like I said, sometimes you really feel like a kick-ass Tibetan monk. Wave six. Every five waves, you get a checkpoint. Uh, and once you die after the checkpoint, you can load into that checkpoint again. So that means you don't have to do all the waves again, like I'm doing right now. Uh, but I'm doing this to show you guys uh, how much the difficulty increases over time. Um, because like I said, whether you like this game depends a lot on whether you like to push yourself. Whether you like to um, get better at, at a game. Because that's basically what this game has to offer you getting better at it so stability and bugs I've like to have played for several hours now and I've had no problems with the game it runs really really nice actually um, I have to pay attention a little bit because those guys are tricky and then of course we have these big guys yeah there we go uh, can I still take one of these no I figured out I, I wouldn't make that so yeah, it runs beautifully. I have seen no bugs. The the uh, the arrow shooting mechanics, archery mechanics. Uh, okay, that, that startled me there for a bit. Uh, are, work perfectly fine. Uh, but to be honest, it's been done a lot in VR. That uh, the circle guy was like an artillery guy. They shoot uh, big fireballs at you. I will demonstrate in a minute when there's another one. Oh no, I have to. I, I can't shoot you. So they move a bit, really quickly. And then they spawn a fireball and shoot it at you. You can shoot the fireball and when the fireball explodes, it, it, you know, it takes enemies with it. Um, additionally, when you hit these guys and they explode, uh, well, they also uh, uh, take uh, others with them, which you <laughs> really need later on. Oh, yeah, that was nice. That's, that felt great. That felt great. Yeah. Come on. Come here, little fella. Yeah, there you go. And there we go, some more. Yeah, yeah, indeed. And by you go. Ooh, that was close, wasn't it? That was close. Wave 8. So this is kind of the point where it gets a bit more tricky. I'll probably slip up in my speech a little bit more. Um, but oh, we'll find out soon, won't we? Yeah, there you go. I'm beginning to wonder if I forgot to tell you guys about the force push. I don't think so, right? We discovered, uh, we discussed the force force push. Um, yeah, because I talked about the coin at length. Okay, well then I don't need to retread the same ground, I suppose. Uh, I will be cutting this because I want to show you what it is like from beginning to end when I die. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, no. Ooh, I should not. That was a bit too risky. All right, I'm less risk. Risk would be nice. Oh no. Okay. Yeah. I. I. I, I have problems. 
Serious, 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 serious issues. Oh, okay. Oh, I had to concentrate there for a minute. All right. Probably a little bit more concentration, a little bit less goofing off in my dialogue. Just focus on talking about how I'm shooting these guys. Well, that actually help me. Yeah. Yeah, like you in the middle, and then I'll take you. Come on. You have to die. That's the agreement we got, okay? If I shoot you with an arrow in the face, then that means I've won, and you explode, okay? Yeah, like that. Like that fella. Oh, no. Whew. All right. There we go. What do you got there? Oh, you want to be quick? Oh. Ooh. Ooh. It's never fun when things get in your personal space in VR. It's... <sighs> Creepy. All right. Come on. I thought we were going to be more of you guys. Oh. Right, let's see if we can get this one in distance. No. Okay, that was pretty good. Yeah, come on. Yeah. 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 Come on. Ooh. So loud! <laughs> yeah. I heard you, but I couldn't see it because of all the particle effects. Oh. <laughs> no, come on, I like one. Yes, there we go. Yay! Okay, now I've done this wave most of all. <laughs> because uh, I always load at wave 10, which, you know, gets you at wave 11. Um, this wave is not too difficult. Want to watch me die now? <laughs> oh, come on. Woo! That was a good shot. That was actually me applying tactics. <sighs> anyway, uh, usually I die at 12 or 13. I've gotten to 14, I believe. But I've never reached uh, 15. I've never survived 15 at the very least. So yeah, um, you've got that to look forward to. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. Coin, please. I already got my coin back. Okay, I don't know how. And <laughs> that's always fun. <sighs> All right, wave 12. So I I struggle with this wave so much. So what's gonna happen is five big guys are gonna spawn all over there. You need to try and keep them as far away as you can. So by distributing your arrows and actually hitting them. So I'm not doing a great job at this moment. Oh no, I screwed up. This might be the enemy. This thing. No. Oh my word. Oh, I made it. Oh. 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 That always happens. And this wave is also not a lot of fun. Because a million of these guys are gonna show up. Oh no 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 no! I already screwed up in the beginning. I don't have time to screw up. I don't have time to screw up. Come on. Okay, take it easy. Take it easy. Calm down. You can do it. You just need to take your time. You just need to take your time. That's all you need. Don't freak out. Don't freaking out. I know! Shut up! Yeah, yeah, as long as we can uh, make sure we don't get a fireball in our face, then we're fine. Yes! Ha ha ha! In your face, quite literally. <sighs> Alright, I think I'm gonna have to put on my concentration face now. Um, you can see my face, obviously. Uh, I don't like that. Yeah, you. And you. Oh, quick. Gonna have to Lego last these guys. It's okay, we can take a hit. We can't take too many hits. Come on. Ooh, I thought there was a guy right on top of me. Oh! Alright, not too bad. Wave 50. Like I said, never completed this wave. Why? I don't remember, man. 
Okay, take you out, take you out. Uh, come on. Why won't you blow up? Just no. Bad circle of doom. No! Oh, shit! I felt it. It's weird. I know. Okay, I shouldn't have done that. Okay. Just these exploding guys. That's okay. They're easy. Exploding guys are easy. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I'm making it. I'm making it. Come on! <laughs> Woo! Yes! Yeah! Oh, I really didn't think I'd make it. Ah, Alright, well, we're gonna explore wave 16 together. It's probably gonna kill me. Oh, it's just that. No, that's not really terrifying me at the moment. There you go. There you go. In the face. Yeah, another one. Oh, come on. You should die. We've, we've gone over this. Alright, so these guys are not nice. So I'm just gonna take it easy on these guys. Oh! Was it hit? Or did I dodge it? I don't think you can dodge. But you can. And that would be great to know in advance. There we go, and there we go, and there we go. And another one. Oh yeah! And let's take some of these orbs if we can. Oh, come on. It's not fair for you to be like, you know. They're incorporeal in some parts. You mean the empty part? Yes, the empty part. <laughs> oh, that was a great shot, though. That was a great shot. Oh, my arm is getting tired as well. You wouldn't think it, but this is actually... If you have to... I'm getting a repetitive strain injury, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> I have to say, it's already a lot better than when it started. So yeah, this is an exercise for your left arm, mostly. That you have to hold the bow at the distance. I'm not sure if an index controller is heavier than a bow. Probably not. This is an old timey bow. Uh, so we're not talking composite here. Oh, yeah, yeah. Come on, just get hit a bit more. Take out the explody guys. Oh, we're dead. We are so dead. Come on, focus. Oh my word, I've never been hit by those guys. I've been hit by these guys plenty enough. Oh yeah. Oh, again! Guys! <laughs> We're doing it! Oh, wave 18 of 20. <sighs> I don't think I can... Oh, my word. That's a lot of guys. Don't mind that too much. Except when you start doing that, that's not very kind of yet. There we go. And then you, and then you, and then you in the face. You in the face. Can we have a little orb? No? Okay, I'm just gonna have to focus on enemies. <sighs> I have never gotten anything higher than rank D. <laughs> so it turns out you do have a health bar. You can see where I discovered this fact on the screen right now. Let's see how much further we can get with an additional bit of knowledge. <sighs> Half health, way funny. That's kind of normal. <sighs> All right, Let's see if this is the one. Your time. These guys explode. <laughs> Alright, so it's a wall of these guys, which is bad. And good at the same time. If it just keeps being this guys, we can farm them. <laughs> This one? Yes! Oh, all the concentration was needed. Wave 20! Oh. <laughs> oh, all right. Woo! Oh. All right. Ooh. Okay, some glowy orb business going on. Yeah, a real explosion. Some fireworks. 
it's all fine guys this is uh, this is normal this is not a problem at all <laughs> yeah I was kind of afraid of that okay so I see like Iron Man gloves there I shoot Ooh, look at that oh I have like turbo arrows that's cool I have to shoot him in the eyes or something I don't know I think I can no come on all right no that doesn't work hello um, I feel a little small <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is really creepy! <laughs> um, I, I would like to hit you somehow. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Hit the arms, what the hell are those? Oh, okay, we can hit those as well. Only when they're fiery. Let's see what happens there. Ow! I don't know what you're doing. No, don't end him! Oh, okay. <laughs> Eat my turbo shots, you bastards! Okay, that's how you can heal. Okay, that's good to know. Alright, this is really cool, by the way. Oh, man. It, I just... I just realized... Uh, <laughs> no, no. More guys. Yeah, I practiced with, you know, more drops, so that's slightly annoying. But it's okay. It's actually quite easy to hit now. So... That's one thing, I suppose. Okay, okay, okay. This is not too difficult. Oh, you're still alive. That's good, because you give me health. There we go. We're not too bad in health, though. Uh. Alright. I'm totally expecting to get killed. Not know what's going on. Oh, nothing. Scoop up there, mate. Don't know what's going on. Too much going on. My arm hurts so much. <laughs> Take out the things. Take out the things. You can do it. My, oh, my arm hurts so badly. Too much going on. Uh, uh. Well, that was something. Uh, well, that uh, <laughs> that concludes it, doesn't it? Oh, glad I finally made it. Man, I'm tired. Oh man, this video, not only is this game really hard to make any sort of progress in, it also produces quite the shaky footage as you can see to the right of me, and that made it uh, really, really difficult to make uh, a coherent video of this. So if you have any comments about the quality of this video, please leave them in the comment section below. If you liked it, leave a like and subscribe for more content like this. So, Bardo, uh, what do I think of this game? It actually grew a lot on me. When I started playing it, I was really frustrated by not being able to get past wave 12. It took me so many tries, like 10 tries to get past that point. And that's also where I think the mixed reviews on Steam are coming from. It's just that it's so difficult that people just give up. But I couldn't give up because I had a video to make, so I just kept going at it. And after that 10th or so time, I was able to get, uh, get beyond that point. And I started to learn about all the systems, how they work together, all the, the intricacies, the tactics that you can apply. And actually then there, you find out there is a much more about this game than meets the eye. And I really started to enjoy it. It's available for not that much. I think 10 euros is, is, is what the current price of this early access product is. And I think at the current state, that's already worth it. There is another map in there uh, that I haven't been able to get to yet, even after the footage that you saw, I really tried. So this early access title has a little bit more to offer, but sadly, I think that's all it will ever be because I think development ceased on this product. And one of the Twitter handles of the developers no longer works. And uh, I, I, the comments in the Steam community section also don't see too promising. So that that's sad to me because this is this is a nice game. I really did enjoy playing it. But maybe if enough people buy it and they'll they'll get back to it. I don't know. It did seem like a passion project. So yeah, that's Bardo. Uh, I hope you liked this video. I already said the like and subscribe business, but I'll say it again and I'll see you guys next time.